Hello there, it's Kim from Kim's Creative Corner. And we are making this fun shaker card in class today. So I just wanted to pop on and show you two things. One is how to mask the beer from the He's the Man suite. Um, it only comes with the direction this way. So I want to show you how to flip it, mask it, and then die cut it. Um, so you can have two mugs of beer. And then I'm also going to show you how I did the shaker part of this card. Because the rest is pretty self-explanatory. So let's get started. So all I did was put my piece of paper, my cardstock here. I'm going to pick up my stamp. Put my stamp where I want it. Pick up my stamp. I'm going to ink it up. And I always put an old stamp set underneath my Stamparatus panel so that I'm not pushing down on the panel empty. I think it would blow the panel or break it maybe. So I always use an empty or an old stamp set for that. But anyhow, we're going to ink this up. And we've got the correct direction here, right? So that's the first one, this one. Okay, now to make this one, we are going to stamp directly on, this is a silicone mat. We're going to stamp directly on the silicone mat. Um, the stamp up directly on the silicone mat and I'm going to do it one more time just to make sure that my image gets dark enough and now the secret to this is we want to make sure that we lay this down quickly and don't move it Okay, and now we don't even have to ink this up again because there's still ink on it. You can, just so you can see the outline from the back, but watch what happens. Ta-da! So now we have the mirrored image that we can die cut, and you just die cut it like it was a regular um a regular straight image and i'm gonna do that with you because it's on both sides we can do we can die cut it with the original die so here's the one that's the right direction. There's nothing on the back. Here's the one that we're going to invert. Okay, get out my mini stamp and cut, cut and emboss machine. Try to remember how to say that, you know, when you're on camera. Okay, so again, this is the image that we're going to use. This is the image we're going to cut out because that's the way our die face is. Okay. Pardon my very used um, panels here. Now look. So, when we cut the other one out, we'll have the matched set. And you never knew that we cut it out this direction. Cool, huh? Okay, now let's make the shaker. I'm 
I have, or I had, a clear envelope somewhere. Well, obviously, I set it down. Oh, ha, it was underneath the piece of paper and I couldn't see it because, you know, it's clear. Okay, so this is just one of our medium clear envelopes. And all we're going to do is I want the flap in the front. And I'm going to snug this down to this bottom corner here. And can you see the excess that we have here? So I'm just going to use some scotch tape and tape that down. And of course, because I'm filming, my tape is wonky. Just like that so now it's snug against that piece of designer series paper and we're going to fill it with these are the effervescent elements say that fast three times and i just want to make sure that when i fill it it goes in the front of my card base or of my dsp sorry and then all we're going to do is take the protective stuff off of the adhesive on the envelope. And there you go. So we just put that on top of a piece of Sahara sand, like so. And then we cut a stitched rectangle out. Of early espresso which I used as a layer in here and um, but I adhered this to my Sahara sand base with tear and tape because the tear and tape is so strong but then we die cut um, a circle from the stylish dies and then after we inked up the beer in our in our glasses and then we put those on top, used another stylish die for the um, sentiment in Cajun Craze. The beer is um, crushed curry. So, and then just your layering inside and the card's done. Easy peasy, right? I hope you enjoyed this tip on how to mask any stamp. I'm sorry, not mask, mirror. Mirror is the word I'm looking for. How to mirror using your silicone mat and your stamparatus. Have a great day. Bye-bye.